is that game? Well, it's freezing outside today, December 23rd. Remember that time that I said I was all done with meetings for 2015? Nope. Three meetings on the books for this morning, and then some cow bedding. Let's go. December, then they're going to reevaluate it. But I get a monthly download of not only car, uh, liver spur data, but I get a uh, hot carcass weighted up 2013. So all of 14, all of 15. If there's something you want me to go back in, that's what I do. SS's and then the A pluses are those ones that are really larger. Uh, this summer we see lots of pizza livers. All right, we're all finished with meeting number one, where we're learning all about abscess scoring in livers and the production deficit that's there and how much they lose in hot carcass weight and total value. And now we're going into a review of how to properly fill out a B prescription. Here's what I learned. This script is referenced within regulatory requirements. All done. Meeting number two, heading into meeting number three. Wife Diana did some baking, so I'm just giving everybody their presents now. Butter tarts, poppycock, and cookies. back oh. I think yes I do did you give me liquid nitrogen yet I did not but I assume it's already in there Paul was coming back from out east and I told him that if he had time he should stop and do the surgery and I'll just help him out. He just showed up just now. Perfect timing, Paul. Good job. Rude. Hey Paul, looks like you're on your knees all afternoon. <laughs> yeah. What were you doing? Doing real vet work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing up by the way. Go off in. Yo. It's only minus 10. Oh, I feel more than that. Okay, we just finished up with the eye surgery. Uh, the majority of the lesion on the left eye was invading the third eyelid, but when we started cutting, we just thought we'd take off the third eyelid. The tumor dissected fairly deep. By the time I had the tumor resected, about a third of the connective tissue around the corner of the, the eye was gone. We ended up doing a full accenturation, so that means taking out the eyelids, all the musculature of the eye, and surrounding tissue, and closing that up. Worked well. That's uh, probably a little too graphic to show on the vlog. Maybe we'd have to do a special eye nucleation video with warnings. It's not the prettiest sight. It's this big, great big gaping hole. And then on the other side, it was just a nice little tiny tumor on the third eyelid. I did a resection of that uh, surgically and then we also, we did cryotherapy around our margins to hopefully kill any leftover tumor cells. And yeah, 
think that's it. Went good. There's deer in the road. There's deer in the road. Muleys. White tail muleys. No. Yes, Joe. Bye, Sienna. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Maybe if it's slow tomorrow, I'll come out and visit you at Tennis Ranches. Okay. Maybe you'll have a cabin for me. This cow that we treated was a Hereford Murray Gray cross and she had lighter eyes. So what the pathophysiology is, is there's genetic predisposition, just like with a lot of different types of cancers, usually you're more genetically predisposed, but there's also the pathophysiology of having white goggles around your eyes. So what pigment does around the eyes is pigment inside of a cell acts as an umbrella around the nucleus where the DNA hangs out. So if you have black eyed or red eyed animals, it, there's more pigment than a white eye and that acts as an umbrella for UV radiation pounding down on that DNA. If there's no melanin or pigment over top pigment over top of that that nucleus, it is much more predisposed to to mutations secondary to that UV exposure. So that's why we typically see it a little more in Hereford cattle. So that is cancer eye. That's the theme of the day. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We will talk to you later. My Christmas decorations and my neighbor's Christmas decorations. Come on, Cody, get it together.